Nine FIFA officials and five other individuals were arrested. Uh, the FIFA officials, many of them were arrested at a hotel in Switzerland where they were gathered ahead of the upcoming presidential elections for FIFA. Um, the charges include the bevy of corruption charges, bribery, racketeering, fraud, and the like. So the U.S. has partnered with several global partners, um, including Switzerland, to bring about these charges on several individuals. And the reason why the U.S. is involved is because a lot of the um, allegations of corruption and bribery have allegedly occurred um, either in the USA, um, in meetings in the U.S., or um, via U.S. banks. So of the nine FIFA officials that were arrested, two were extremely high up in the echelons. They include the current vice president of the organization, Jeffrey Webb, who also heads CONCACAF, which is the organization that oversees North American soccer, including U.S. soccer. The other very major figure that was arrested is Jack Warner, who is a previous vice president of FIFA and also a former president of CONCACAF, who actually resigned in 2011 to avoid FIFA sanctions of bribery. Sepp Blatter is the president of FIFA and he's been around what seems like forever. He's actually running for his fifth term right now, which some say he's likely to win even though this incredibly huge bomb dropped just days before the election. He's also worth billions of dollars and according to Forbes, he's the 70th most uh, powerful person in the world. So he's got a lot of power around him and um, honestly, he seems uh, more slippery than a, a wet fish in, in, in trying to pin him for anything. Um, he's, corruption and set bladder have been connected for, for quite some time, um, but it seems like it's always those around him that are falling, and he himself keeps standing for reasons that remain unclear.